Assalamu alaikum and very good morning again to you guys. Okay, thank you for staying with me again under uh, the Computer Architecture Organization course. So I am Dr. Shafiq Fauzi Kamarul Zaman, presenting you from University of Malaysia Pahang. So today we continue our next chapter under chapter 3, Digital Circuit Digital System. So today, okay, our topic will be on a kind of map, okay? So actually, kind of map basically uh, is a method to simplify Boolean functions that leads to simpler and usually faster digital circuits. Okay, simplifying Boolean functions okay using identities in time is time consuming and also error prone. Okay, sometimes you make mistake in managing the algebra. So this special section okay that I'm present here today okay is uh, to introduce you a systematic method. For reducing boolean expressions so that you can create the most simplified boolean functions easily simply using the kind of map so a kind of map basically you have uh, what we call uh, uh, a matrix that consisting rows and columns that represent the output values of a boolean functions input and output values of the uh, Actually, it's only the output of the value the function. So the output values placed in each cell, they are derived from the mean terms of a Boolean function. So what exactly a mean term? So a mean term, okay, is basically product term, okay, that contains all the function variables exactly once, either complemented or not complemented. So like for example, if it's 0, 0, we, uh, we define the mean term as x bar, y bar. If it's 0, 1, x bar, y. If it's one zero x y bar. If it's uh, one one is x y. So we are going to define uh, in case of these two inputs. Okay, like this. Okay. So based on this, we can uh, create the kind of map. Okay. So in this is the case of a uh, three inputs. Okay. If you see three inputs here, we classify the mean term as this way. Okay, you have three variables, and the one with the bar is when the variable is zero. Okay, the one with ones is the normal one. Okay, so when we create uh, the the K map, so basically we have uh, the inputs and also the outputs. Like in this case, we have the end gate. So when we create the K map, we divide uh, the inputs. Okay, one towards the horizontal, one towards the vertical, and in the middle is the output of the the system so okay in case in this case if x is 0 y is 0 it becomes 0 f is 0 y is 1 becomes 0 okay like this one x is 1 y is 0 becomes 0 and if x is 1 y is 1 become 1 okay so this is the kind of map for uh, this circuit okay so the kind of map here based on this kind of map here Okay. Okay, let's take a look here. The only one is x when x is one, y is one. So basically, the Boolean algebra is x times y. Okay. So if you follow the mean term as before, okay, x times y. Okay, the result is one. So we only take the mean term where the result is one. So you got the f x y is equal x y so this is the mean term of the final boolean algebra for this end game and then if we have an or gate okay like in this case we have uh, three outputs okay we put in uh, the kind of map you will get this one so in this case kind of map basically you can group the values according to the quantity of ones that you have in the output map so if you have one uh, if you have, you can get uh, either 1 or 2, 4, 8, 16, okay, in terms of if you have 2, you can get 2, you use 2. If you can get 4, you use 4, okay. In this case, if 2 means that this one corresponds, okay, this one corresponds to x equal 1, okay. Uh, so, no matter whatever y is, it will call, always correspond to x equal 1. So, it x and then plus with the second grouping here okay this is y equal one where uh, when y equal one whatever x is the answer will always be one so it become x plus y so you see that this one is y equal one and x equal one okay so basically when you get here okay if you want don't want to simplify 
in this case you can use it this way x bar y x y bar okay x y bar plus x y if you simplify it you can still get x plus y but if you use kind of map here by grouping the ones okay you can get the answer immediately like this okay so it's a simpler way okay so there are five rules basically okay that you can do uh, with kind of map okay so groupings can only contain ones okay and then groups can be formed only at right angles diagonal groups are not allowed okay so there are certain angles that like for example in this case uh, you can group it up and up down or left right okay you cannot group it like this one here with one here okay diagonally okay so and then the number of ones in a group must be power of two even if it contains a single one so it can be either one two four eight sixteen so it must be the power of two okay the group must be made as large as possible so if you can get up until 16 or 8 or 4 okay you can try to get as big as possible first okay and groups can overlap and wrap around the side of the k-map so it can uh, wrap around like for example this one here actually you can group it the other way until uh, from here until to the right side and turn back in from the left okay it can be uh, it can turn around the grouping can turn around this in this case there are four output okay uh, but in case of there are there are two outputs so you three outputs or four outputs okay four inputs three or four inputs okay you can have a larger map where you can turn around the the outputs okay group by turning around the output so in this case we have three variables okay you see that we have three variables that has been uh, converted into mean term here okay so if you see here this is the the output of this variable okay so now uh, the question is asking what is the largest group okay from this uh, uh, from this uh, kind of map so if you see here okay you have these four ones that can be grouped together and if you see here the four ones here the similarity of all these numbers is what basically okay so the similarity here that all these numbers okay happens when z is equal one okay z equal one okay other than that x whatever x is whatever y is is fine as long as is z equal one okay uh, the answer is one so you can simplify it as fx is equal to z okay you can simplify it uh, so you, instead of you have this long volume long uh, volume function that you can you need to have uh, four n gates okay and three or gates okay you can have only one variable which is z so this is good for you to simplify the boolean circuit okay this is another example okay so you, here we have at least uh, we have six inputs that uh, outputs that have one but from here you can have two groupings okay you can guess which what kind of group you can create okay so i'll give you one example okay one group four you can create from the left to the right yeah and another group is what kind of group actually you can group it this way four okay from the right side continue back to the left side i say this is when when i when I mean you can uh, turn back around into the other side okay so this is the grouping uh, that has been turned back around from one side to the other okay so this one okay the green group represent when x is equal zero which is x bar and the purple the purple loop here represent when okay when when actually does it represent okay if you look back here okay it happens when uh, either x is okay and here when only z equals zero so z bar so you can get the answer here x bar which is the green and also z bar which is the purple line so and then sometimes you might have four input also we can have up until 16 output here 
So if you can group everything here, means that f is equal to 1. Okay. So now let's take a look at what kind of output you have. So here we have at least among the 16, we have 7 outputs. Okay. These are the output that you have. Okay. So how can you, you create the K map for this? Okay. So here you can see that I can group it. Okay. This way, 2, 2, and this one is one group as the purple. And you see the green one, okay, although it looked diagonally, but actually it's actually uh, next to each other. If you combine it, if you look at like a, 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 a circle, okay, basically it's next to each other. Okay, this four is next to each other. So, and then you have these two remaining. So based on this one, the purple one, the similarity is when... Okay, x is, is bar, okay, x equals 0, and here is y equals 0, so you got here. And then green is when x is equal 0, and z is equal 0, okay, you see that you get here. And finally, this one, okay, this is when uh, w is equal 0, okay, and y and z is equal 1, 0, okay, so you get... Uh, okay, you get this W bar Y Z. Okay, you see that there the similarity of these two is that it's in a Y and Z bar and also W when W is bar. Okay, uh, so here is one, one of the answer. So this is another combination that you have. Okay. So in this case, okay, if you have two, okay, in this case you have uh, two different kind of kind of map grouping, uh, grouping. So you can group either this way, okay, or this way. Okay, you see what this difference is. This means that uh, you cannot group three at one. So you either group uh, two with uh, the the one on the right and the other loop. Okay, and then or you group it together, overlapping with one group here. Okay, or both of this is fine. Sometimes it produce different answer, but it's fine. It's uh, actually it's fine. It's a sim simplified uh, answer basically. So basically, okay. So recapping the rules of group uh, simplification. So you need to remember the group must be one. Okay, you can perform in a at right angle. So either it's vertical or horizontal. Diagonally is not allowed. Okay, so the number of ones in the group must be at least the power of 2, whether it's 0, 1, 2, 4, 16. Okay, 2, 4, 8, 16. Okay, so the group must be made as large as possible and groups can overlap and wrap around the size of the K-map. So you need to think as the K-map as a sphere instead of just 2D plane. Okay. Okay, so that's all for uh, the video now. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. So thank you for watching my videos and hopefully uh, you continue up until the end of the semester. Okay, for those who subscribe my channel, thank you very much. For those who haven't, please do subscribe my channel and I appreciate all those likes. So I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.